Um, the principal aim is to develop and investigate experimentally a new way in which computer can aid more effectively people in their creative work, in their thinking, uh, in any field, uh, from research to engineering design, management, education, and so forth. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the situation with respect to computers today is somewhat similar as the situation with respect to uh, power electrical power or uh, mechanical power immediately following the invention of the steam engine. The steam engine made it possible uh, for people to build locomotives, big machines that could do work that no individual or group of individual or group of animals for that could possibly do. In the same sense, computers today can perform calculations and logical operations that it would take a years and years for any reasonable group of people to do by hand. The big difference, particularly to our society, came when power could be distributed to the electrical system and was brought into the home, into the offices of people, wherever people worked. That made it possible the development of use of power tools, uh, sewing machine, vacuum cleaners, in a general sense, power put new powerful physical tools in the hand of people. Now, what we would like to do is do the same thing for what we might call logical power. Um, and bring the ability to co of computers to perform logical operation computations at the service of the individual in whatever he may be doing. In essence, what we want is to make computers accessible to people and access really has two aspects, a physical aspect. Namely, you want to be able to operate a computer from, let's say, near my desk. Uh, the second is the intellectual aspect. That is, a person would like to be able to instruct a computer to do what it wants um, directly and conveniently, that is, using terminology and a language that is convenient to the individual, and not necessarily convenient to the computer. Now, uh, what has been stopping the use of the computer on the part of many people uh, until now is just this barrier or instructing the computer. And what uh, many scientists, for instance, have been doing, using uh, specialists called programmers to instruct the computer to solve, let's say, the problem that the scientist may want. But this places a real barrier between the scientist and the computer. What we would like is to make it possible, for instance, for the scientist to instruct directly the computer um, how to do what the scientist wants. Now, there is another point that I want to bring up, uh, namely that the computer system that we are aiming and we are developing uh, contains a great many programs already developed which are at the disposal of the user. And in other words, the user doesn't have to instruct the computer on how to do everything that he wants to get done, but only the parts that are very special and very new to the problem with which is concerned at that time. Uh, many facilities are already available and stored within the system so that in a sense each individual has available in literally at his fingertips the work of many people that have preceded him. In a very real sense, the computer system that we are just barely beginning to develop will contain uh, what amounts to a library a library that is available to every user of the system. Now, I think that this is an extremely important point because uh, this is what permits the facilities of the overall system in helping individual to build up automatically, almost, through the system being used by many people. That is, the work of each individual can remain within the system and become available to other people. I can make this point clear by showing how the system operates at this stage 
and demonstrate the use of a program that, that they developed just a few days ago. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is to have the system print out the program that I wrote a few days ago. For that purpose, I simply uh, type in Now, the computer has just typed out the program that I wrote uh, a few days ago exactly as I wrote it by typing at this teletypewriter. The next step is to translate this program into the detailed machine language that the computer understands. I will do this by just writing the name of the language, which happens to be MAD, followed by the name of the program, which I chose to be my own name, Fano. At this point, the computer is translating my program. The program has already been translated, and the computer is typing back some data about the program itself, as it ended up to be. Now, I can start running this program and compute uh, prime numbers. All I have to do is type in the word log go and the program will start operating. The computer is asking me what range of prime numbers I want. I'm going to say the range from 1 to 100. Well, here they come. One, two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-seven, forty-one, forty-three, forty-seven, fifty-three, fifty-nine, sixty-one, sixty-seven, seventy-one, seventy-three, seventy-nine, eighty-three, eighty-nine, ninety-seven, and that's the end. Now, this was a simple program that I wrote a few days ago. It could have been a long program written by me or by somebody else. In effect, I got a whole library available to me, literally, at my fingertips. Now, the, uh, there are two more important points that I want to make. One is that while I was working here, there were many other people working simultaneously with the computer. At the present, the maximum number of people that can work simultaneously through terminal like this one is 24. But this number will increase with time as we learn more and more how to develop this particular mode of operation. I expect that within a couple of years, there will be uh, hundreds of people capable of working simultaneously at their own terminals with the same computer. Now, uh, of course, we are just beginning in this. It is a long road to develop a system which is uh, practical for everybody to use. Uh, there are many problems in involved. It's the same thing as after uh, Bell invented the telephone. It took a work of a great many people for many years before we got to the present state in which you or I can die long distance all over the place. Uh, the same thing is after the invention of electric generators, it took many years before electricity was available in the average home and in every office and factory. <laughs>